So an affinity group is a little bit of an interesting question. Just as context, I was born in Coquitlam, Vancouver, or near Vancouver, BC. And then I lived here until I was five and then moved down to California, where it's close to my granddad, my granddad um, and lived there until I was done with high school, more or less, uh, with a few intermittent moves to places like New Zealand for a few months. Um, the affinity group is, I, I found growing up in California, my affinity group was predominantly a handful of, you know, white friends, you know, general people who look similar to me, and then some, a much larger portion of second or third generation immigrants whose parents or grandparents didn't speak English in an educated way but they were very smart people themselves. Um, and I've found even persisting to now that I have a number of people of color friends who I am very close with because we have this sort of transplanted feeling of growing up in, as a, a third generation into colonial America. And I, I largely feel I, that I feel that way because granddad lived in a tar paper shack and then was put into the residential schools and so he only immigrated into and he, he is legally counted as an immigrant in the United States because he was not given citizenship as a Cherokee until oh I think it was the 1930s or 40s and so he is legally an immigrant, even if he, he and his tribe have lived here for longer than the country has been here. Um, and so an affinity group is a funny question, just because I feel that now still, that I connect with immigrants of a second or third generation. And does that translate into Canada as well? To some degree, absolutely. Um, it translates into Canada in less obvious ways, but I think that is more because I didn't have my younger schooling here. Um, I still feel like I am very much a immigrant, a, a few generations later down of immigrants into the colonial Americas than I think most folks feel. 